Hello, everyone. How are you doing? I hope you're doing so well. I wanted to quickly do just like a week ahead reading for you. This is a timeless reading. So whenever you're watching this, um, there will be messages in here for you. I'm just going to do a collective reading. I'm only going to, you know, do a quick one. And um, I would love to start implementing this um, each week. So that way you can kind of, you know, have some advice, some encouragement, whatever for the week ahead. So I'm going to get into this. First and foremost, I just want to quickly tell you that all of our most popular online courses inside of Home for the Healer are now donation based. So you can go in and learn about how to connect with past loved ones, connect with the divine, use your gifts for yourself, for others, master your channeling abilities, learn to read for pets and get certified in my light body healing modality, which is energy work. Um, and also healing support. So just supporting your human as you kind of support the collective. If those of you, you know, are doing that, all of those courses will be down below and you can check it out. Um, anyways, let's get into this again. This is timeless. So whenever you're watching this, the week ahead, so seven days from now, what is it that you can expect? We're going to look at advice on the week. Um, as this is a general reading, take what resonates. Let's first and foremost make a specific intention to connect with the divine here. If there's anything particular that you need to hear at this time or that you're needing information on or whatever, go ahead and make, um, you know, go ahead and connect in and ask for what it is that you may need or to see. First and foremost, I'm getting this message about a butterfly. So pay attention to butterflies this week. We have earth healing. Okay. So I'm looking at overall energy here. First ray of power. Okay, so a lot of you are having some type of healing that's coming in from the divine through some type of inspiration, whether it's an aha moment, and it's going to heal aspects of you in human form. So for example, if, if some of you are having a hard time letting go of a relationship or having a hard time finding out what to do in the next steps or not sure what to do in the physical world or why is this happening in the physical world or whatever, you're going to be getting that information this week to help you move forward. And it's going to really align you to your power and help you really see yourself. Some of you, this is going to be for your inner child not everyone but some of you this is a teddy bear you can see this teddy bear here um, in the photo that feels really significant for some of you so if some of you had like specifically a teddy bear when you were a child um, or like something that you just held all the time it's going to be really healing to that version of you as well as to the physical version okay there's something about that and this is coming through from the divine so so know that yes it might be a person that says it but you're just going to know that this message was from the divine. And again, it's going to put you right into your power and understand that you the ball is in your court. It's almost like this expansion taking place and it's allowing everything to revolve around you and your energy and not in like a selfish way, but in a way where you feel very much like life is happening and working for me. And those of you that feel like, no way. Like some of you look at that. The sun just came in. Some of you were like, no way. There's no way this could happen. And the divine is like, why not? Why not you? Just because you've been in difficulty for the last three years, five years, one year, six months, whatever it's been, just because there's been difficulty does not mean that you have to stay in difficulty. And some of you have been really, 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 really good with um, making sure that you are following your path, following your North star is what I'm hearing, following what it is that the divine needs from you or what, what it is that you need from the divine to be, um, in a place to like show up this week. Does that make sense? Some of you look at this, your power and your power is your fire initiation by fire. We see that again. So anything that is left behind by the end of this week, is meant to move forward with you. Even if you're like, yeah, but that's not the person I want to bring into this cycle. It's okay. That will be dealt with later on because at the end of this week, anything, of course, things change, right? Like after this week, it doesn't mean that, you know, you're never going to be able to let go of anything again, of course, but there's a cycle completion here. And I've been feeling this with with a lot of people, with myself, with the collective, with doing readings for people. There's a bit, a lot of people are ending big cycles so if you're watching this, this is your confirmation. You are ending a big cycle. And at the end of this seven days, by the way, again, this is this is general. So if you're watching this in a couple of months, it doesn't mean that you're also not ending a cycle. Okay. In general, you're ending this really big cycle here. 
I have to say, I have to pause because I feel like some of you watching, like the divine really need you to understand. Um, the divine really needs you to understand that you are, mm, it's almost like you're getting these messages from the divine or from confirmations through signs, or maybe you're seeing it on readings or people are telling you, or you can feel it internally, but you're still doubting it. Like there's still some of you watching this that are like, I don't believe it. I don't believe that it could change. I don't believe that it could be over. And it's because you've just been stuck in this cycle for so long. Just know that it's happening. Okay. You can believe it or not, but at the end of the week, you're going to believe it because it's going to be done. You're going to be able to feel and see tangible evidence that it is complete. Okay. It'll look different for every one of you, but whatever it is that you've been working on the most, whether it's a really big cycle or whether it's a smaller cycle, it will be complete by the end of this week. And anything that, you know, is burnt up between now and the end of the week, burnt up, whether it's beliefs, thoughts, people, situations, whatever, that's, that's what's meant to be happening here. Look at this serendipity four leaf clover. Some of you, this is going to be a very lucky time. This is going to feel really, really good. Never ending story. Exactly. Oh my God. This is like exactly what the F I'm talking about. Some of you have been like, this has been nonstop and I'm honestly over it. That's the vibe I'm getting. Look at her. She's like never ending story. This is never ending for me. This has like, I feel like some of you, oh my God, I'm going like a million miles an hour because I'm channeling so much. Some of you are literally on the other side of that computer or phone or whatever. And you're like, Holly, you have no effing idea. And I'm here to tell you, I do. I do have an idea. I know what it's like to be in a cycle where it's like this shit is never ending. No matter how much I try, no matter how much healing I do, no matter how much I connect with my higher self, no matter how many rituals I do, no matter how many ritual baths and letters I burn and bay leaves I burn with intention, no matter what I do, it's the same shit over and over and over. And the divine is like, okay, knock it off. We're here. We're here to help. We're here to help. Okay. Um, and when I say knock it off, I mean, just like focus on the positive, focus on the positive. I'm going to give you a tip here. That's been really, really transformational for me in my life. Um, and I swear, like once I master this technique, I'm going to teach you about it, but it's, it's something that I, I swear it's, it's the answer to like spiritual warfare. It's the answer to like any doubt that happens in your mind. And it's the answer to creating the reality. And it's by shifting intention. And it's super easy. I'm going to give you the tip here and I'll go deeper into it later. But the tip, and I know I'm going a million miles an hour. I'm so sorry. I am drinking coffee, but also <laughs> Ooh, the energy is really intense. So let me breathe. Hold on. Let me breathe because geez, Holly, I'm stressing myself out because I'm talking so fast. Okay. <laughs> My private clients and I, we have like a group chat and I give them like assignments. And one of the assignments was to like slow down for the week. And I keep hearing myself being like, slow down. Okay. Um, The thing that you can do, okay, is when the negative thought comes in, when that doubt comes in or when the worry comes in or whatever, immediately, I'm telling you immediately, all you have to do is say, okay, divine, show me. God, source, universe, whatever. Show me my actual truth. What's my real story? That does not feel good in my body. Therefore, I know it's not for my highest good. So what is for my highest good? What is my actual story? When you start going down this path of, oh, it's never ending. It's never ending. Call upon the divine and it will show you your truth. All that glitters. This card to me right now talks about some of you are going after these shiny objects, these things that look some type of way, but really it's a mask. It's not actually your truth. You might be going after some fast way of, of making money. That's like, this is not working. It doesn't feel good in my body, but you're still doing it because you are in survival. And, and there's something else too, where it's like, you have to trust in the divine to help you through this survival. And you also have to forgive yourself for those moments where you were in survival, where you were in like this never ending story. Forgive them for what they do not know. That is exactly what Mr. Jesus over there said on the cross at the end of time, whether you believe in that or not, it is about forgiving yourself for what you did not know. You have to stop beating yourself up. This week is a big, big week of you stepping into your power and saying, you know what? Enough is enough. I'm not going to do this anymore. I'm not going to keep going down this path where I'm following things that only feel good for a split second. And then I don't feel good anymore. Some of you, I'm about to call you out. I love you so much. It's not me. It's the divine. Talk to the divine. 
some of you are looking for peace and love and contentment where you are in your physical body in the present. So the way that you mask the feeling that that is lacking. So where you're where you're not feeling that instead, what you do, instead of trying to find it within yourself, within the divine, you're going out and just like buying things that are like instant gratification. And this week, that's going to be brought to your attention. You're going to have this understanding of like, oh my gosh, I'm buying things or I'm going out and getting things or I'm going out to eat or I'm spending money here and there, whatever. When in reality, I'm just doing it because I'm trying to cultivate a feeling inside of myself with the external world. But the way you have to do it is feel it within and then you see it in the external world. And guess what? External things come and go. You want to find it and cultivate it and embody it inside yourself because that feeling never goes away. Again, like Mr. Jesus said, okay, it's coming to the well of knowledge. It's like when he taught for three days, okay? I know I'm preaching to you, but I don't care. <laughs> if you don't like it, love you so much. Bye. For three days, he he taught to thousands of people. And guess what? They were hungry. They had no food. They were there for three days with no food, nowhere to go. There was war. There was, there was so much stuff. They were all there. They were sleeping on the floor three full days. And at the end of the third day, what does he say? Now that I've, I've given you spiritual food, it's now time to give you real food. And then he made the loaves and the fish, the bread and the fish turn to, to, you know, tons of baskets so that then everyone could eat. And so it's a very, physical representation of the divine will feed you the knowledge, the information, the internal feeling and understanding, and then will provide for you through your own action, the physical things. And even if you don't act, you're still worthy of eating. You're still worthy of receiving. You're still worthy of having your basic basic needs met. Okay. Some of you this week, you're really going to need to cultivate your throat chakra. You need to speak your truth, say your truth unapologetically, and you're going to feel very much empowered to do so from a place of love, not from a place of ego. Okay. That's what's coming through. Like you don't even have to like worry. Just make sure you're second, you're <laughs> make sure you're second guessing yourself. No, make sure you're like focusing on, on certain things, make sure that you're, um, being mindful. Okay. Okay. Let's keep going. I, this is, um, a deck that I'm a little nervous to use because of the imagery on it. So I'm going to have to be careful and see what cards come out. So I make sure that they're not okay. Um, this is something that I can't say out loud but it says create it, creation partnered. Okay. Something magic. Okay. Um, if you know, you know, if you don't know that message, not for you, but if you have a partner and you do that, maybe try that this week. Oh my God. That's like a real thing too, but I can't get into that here on YouTube. Um, so anyways, talk to God about it. All right, we have silent retreat. Okay, some of you might be kind of internal. You might be kind of getting this information, things like that. I cannot show you this card because it is a inappropriate card. Um, I don't have anything to cover it up. Hold on. I shouldn't use inappropriate um cards. Um. It says choices. So you're going to understand the choices that you make. We have union. Some of you are in a union with someone in a, I don't know if I can say this word on here, sexual way. I'm just going to say it. Um, and you have been trying to break that cycle. So, so, um, or maybe just in general, like your relationship, your connection to um, you and your sexual energy. Some of you this week are getting a really big, deep clarity around this. And some of you, like there's this connection with someone in the past is being like burned once and for all so that you can move into union with someone who you genuinely like are meant to be with. Um, we have peace and wisdom. So a lot of you, yes, this wisdom that comes in, this information that comes in from the divine will bring you peace and understanding um, of why certain things happened, why you made certain choices, why were you stuck in this never ending story? So I don't know what's going on in the um, astrology. Um, if you're watching this in present time, when I post this, it's, it's June, mid June. Um, and so maybe looking into that. If you're watching this in the future, also look into what's going on, but it does feel like a collective energy of um, 
kind of like no longer sitting in silence and allowing yourself to fully be in full force in your own energy. And um, also I feel this feeling and this message of like, you, you need to be proud of yourself for how far you've come in this cycle. And this, this healing that's coming in is because you've asked for it. So you should be proud of yourself. I'm proud of you as someone who like for what I do on this earth. Oh my God, my ear is ringing. Holly's talking now. Um, I'm proud of you because this is the best way to evolve is to ask the divine to show you, but, but really you've been doing that. And this, this week, some of you, it's going to feel very magical. It's going to be like, this cannot be happening. Um, and it could just be because of the peace you feel or the release that you feel, or maybe something in your physical world is finally manifesting and you're like, holy son of a, and some of you here are like, I hope it's something in the physical. And if you're really hoping for a shift in the physical, um, Yes, that totally could be it. And also, is your internal world matching that physical thing? Or again, are you trying to get that instant gratification um, from your outside world before cultivating and embodying it internally? So check in with that and see um, where that's coming from. Okay, I'm just going to pull a couple more cards and then I'm going to let you go for the day. But I do hope that this brings you some excitement because this feels really good. Bottom of the deck energy is the devil. He's not playing around. Okay, it's been this cultivating this this energy and remember i said before <clears throat> about you know as soon as you start downward spiraling about anything immediately call upon the divine to remind you of what your true story is what your higher perspective is that is um <clears throat> that is spiritual warfare it is nobody talks about spiritual warfare really unless you're like in a, a religion setting but we're not and we also still have to worry about um, spiritual warfare. So, so understand that whether you believe in quote unquote, the devil or not, there is, you know, there are energies that can be working against us or trying to tell us things that aren't actually our truth. Um, whether it's collective knowledge, collective beliefs or what, but either way, you don't want to fall into that. And so you have to get help. Sometimes us just looking in the mirror and saying, um, you know, you are happy. You are safe. Like trying to tell yourself things that you don't actually believe, trying to force yourself to believe it that doesn't always work. So you must call upon something higher than you, higher than the human to help the human understand and invoke that. Okay. This week also have fun, go do fun things. Those of you that like work for yourself or have a flexible schedule, make sure you're, you're not falling into the nine to five still, right? Like this is something within my business that I really shifted because I was like, Oh, I have to start work at X amount. Of time. Like, no, I don't, I could do whatever the hell I want. And so there's something about being more flexible as well. And lastly, here we go again. We have the four of pentacles, um, the king of pentacles and the ace of swords. To me, underneath all of these cards, it's like your this serendipity means that whatever it is that you've been kind of holding on to or holding close to your heart or not sure what to do, that's what's getting healed here. And it's going to feel like pure bliss from that. So whatever you've been kind of holding tightly or just like moving through, what's the biggest thing you've been moving through? That's what's shifting this week. Truly, you're getting the clarity, which then can help shift the physical. Again, not everyone will see a physical change right away, but the internal has to shift before the external can. It's the way the law of the world works, okay? Underneath this first ray of power and this never-ending story, you're going to take power over your story this week, okay? And the King of Pentacles, some of you, this is around your stability. This is around what you see, what you, what you acknowledge. So it's interesting that keeps coming up here. So you might feel like this is the same shit I've dealt with over and over and over this week. That's changing. Something is changing. Okay. I don't know what it is, but it is changing and it's going to shift your perspective on life. The initiation by fire with all that glitters. So anything that is, is hiding behind something shiny and pretty is going to be exposed through your awareness. Okay. It doesn't mean that physically someone's going to be like, Hey, I've been lying to you this whole time or Hey, this business opportunity is actually BS. Like that's not going to happen, but you're going to have the awareness come through. Some of you might take it easier or better than others, but know that this is happening for your own liberation. Okay. <sighs> I've been talking for forever. It feels like, okay. Love you guys. I hope you enjoyed this comment down below. Please let me know what you think. Do you like these? Do you want more of these? It really helps me um, with the engagement down below. And so as I give to you, I'd love to hear back from you as well. If you want to like this, um, subscribe, if you haven't already comment down below, I know those things are so annoying for people to say, but it really does help us as creators on this platform to get the message out to as many people 
as possible. And of course, again, donation-based courses are down below. I have all of them just for you. There's no strings attached. I genuinely just feel like it's a part of my mission to support you all as much as I can. Um, and if you want to book a private reading also down below, and I have 10 um, coupons available. So for the first 10 people who either email me or comment down below or whatever, you can snag a 50% off coupon code for a reading. Um, so connect with me and we will get that for you. Okay. I hope you have the best week at the end of this week. Come back and let me know what happens because this is really exciting. Okay. I'll talk to you soon.